what is up guys and girls here we are the weekend has finally arrived and yeah man most of the morning has been spent sorting my own life out i've had a shower I've just sort of pampered myself for want of a better way of putting it done all the boring stuff put clothes away andrea's messed around with her mirror some more and uh now i've got to find some wet and dry paper so she can uh, spray of bars that she's bought so yeah it's all good but all the chores are out of the way and i didn't subject you guys to it because i'm good to you like that so wet and dry paper and then on with the day ladies and gentlemen i think we're going to get a little bit arty we're going to get a little bit crafty first off i'm going to go online and shoot some people and then we'll see where the rest of the day takes us shall we sounds like a plan i hope you've got some awesome plans for the weekend i hope you're having fun because currently it is saturday as we talk as we speak so by the time this goes live maybe six o'clock sunday evening what a horrible thought that is anyway right let's get this day going and uh yeah let's make nice of it shall we so we're getting straight to crafting here man just sanded a vase down and andrew is just about to get right crafty with a spray can i've seen your spray jobs you do what a bit tricky yeah, well. <laughs> just don't get so close with it dude yeah. lots of fine layers instead of one big thick one interesting to see uh how well andrea does i believe in her centimeters away or something 30 centimeters so about there uh no nah, i'd be like well you can always try on there yeah you don't want to be so far away that you paint the fence. I don't like when you film me because I feel really self-conscious about it because I think it was shit you can put it You'll be alright. What's going to be like, oh Jesus. Nah, you'll be fine man, just don't get me with it. Oh. Ooh, a bit closer than that because otherwise you're going to paint your fence panel. Killing the game off hand here. Alright, so I had a little bit of time on Battlefield. Uh, just met a new guy, Schultz181. He's pretty epic, man proper fly boy so we were doing one of the co-op missions together he was flying and he was pretty damn awesome at it so all i had to do was just shoot stuff epic andrea did go out but now she's back oh you're joking <laughs> do you want me to jump it because i'll get to mum's and mums. they need to jump it again yeah, so I'll see if savage away. okay and then i'm gonna get on with a skateboard well i'm gonna try these metal machines on a rough surface and then give them a go, then the little bits I want on the skateboard. Good times. But first, saw Andrea out. Oh my god. Yeah, that's bad. Um, but first, we are going to drop Andrea to her mum's ass. Let's go! Good times. Mission well done. Right, now on with some artsy crafty stuff. Yay! <laughs> So I'm gonna have a little play with these uh, metal machines. And yeah, it's first time, so we'll see how we're gonna get on. I got a bit of scrap board, just gonna see how they react when I'm writing sort of upright. If I'm writing on the skateboard while it's laid flat, I don't want them to bleed out. They're basically like a, I don't know, a fancy version of a, a whiteout pen or a Tipex marker, whatever you wanna call it. See how the overall effect comes out. First though, you gotta shake the absolute out of it. Same as with the drip marker, it's like trying to get that, that perfect balance of just enough squeeze that you deliver the ink. So I'm not, I don't need drip effects from these, I want these to be kind of crisp. Same as before though, it's all about just the control and I think just writing slow and steady. Yeah, they do, uh, I don't know, they deliver. 
and he delivered what he says on the tin. I'm not going to bother trying to play with them all. I was just really worried that I was going to depress the nib in the ink and it just come flowing out so much that it just puddles up and sort of takes any of the definition away from the lettering. So onwards and upwards. So I'm kind of happy with that. I'm just going to keep rolling on through the colours. Uh, the one thing I have noticed is where I've brushed over the drips on the board, the paint's kind of come away from it. So I knew that I was going to have to go over it with some form of lacquer or something just to seal that that paint down. I was already thinking I should have just like sort of flattened the, the lacquer off on the board before I'd done it with that paint mop. But never mind. We'll see how it goes. Who knows, man? I might. I didn't really want to flatten the lacquer off because I didn't want it to maybe take the paint or like the black stain out more. And then you just end up with like basically a plain board. Who knows? Anyway, just going forward, going to just carry on with the pens for now, see what happens. And after all, man, it was just a good little experiment to see what happens and get used to playing with these pens. So the white is really kind of, it runs really well. All of the other colours are just kind of perfect. I don't know, like the white seems a little bit too runny. I think I rushed, I think I didn't shake it well enough. But let's just say like all of them, yeah, definitely like them. After a little while of like working, you get to just know that pressure. And I, I don't know, man, I think it's come out pretty cool. I like it. And uh, the, there's there's one thing that I didn't think of pre-doing this, and it will take like a uh, let's say a seasoned skateboarder to know the difference. Check out that the font and which way that I've done it, and then I don't know if you'll get it over the video, but check which way the board's running. Now it might just be my eyes at first, but I'm thinking. There's the nose, there's the tail. And so I've kind of done it back to front, but it doesn't matter. It was just a little bit of fun, a little bit of play. And uh, yeah, man, gotta love these pens though, man. These and the mop, the machine mop, or the, the drip machine even, pretty awesome, man. Definitely if you're just in arts and crafts, they are something to get my hands on and have a little play. If you're into graffiti, they're a must have. The mop's epic. I so want to kind of go and have some fun on some hard surfaces and things and play. But obviously, yeah, I don't uh, don't recommend going out into your streets and causing graffiti uh, or vandalizing, whatever you want to call it. Go and find like a, just some wood in your back garden or whatever. You know, if you're going to do it over your own belongings, it don't matter. I don't condone, uh, I don't condone vandalism. Just saying that for, uh, for YouTube sake or something. But going mad on your own skateboard with those markers, epic.